a new algorithm has been developed for Wiridium pocketing strategies. Previously, there were cases where potentially small pieces could be left behind after pocketing. This could potentially cause trouble on the machine with the loose pieces. However, the new algorithm makes sure that absolutely no material exists after a no-call pocketing routine. This greatly increases the reliability of long-running Wiridium jobs. In the case of this component, if I just go to the part view, you can see we've got three operations already created. If I rotate this part around, you can see we've got this rotary blade type component. So we've got an outer shape that we wish to create a punch from. And then we've got an internal area that we wish to do some pocketing. The pocketing is intended to remove all the material from the centre area. So the first thing I'm going to do is just have a quick look at the toolpaths. In this case, I'm just going to view from the top. Just go to a 3D simulation and then just do step through that first operation. So there we can see the shape of the blades. If I go ahead and just use my cursor to remove those, you can see the shape of the component so far. The key thing to note here is we have an island in the middle, so the material is being removed from the center. This could be from the previously shaped stock or it could be a pre drilled operation. But in this case, we have some material that has been removed. If I use the default pocketing strategy, and in this case I'm just going to do an Alt F3, you can see the wire moves to start location, starts working its way through, and we can play this, and we can see the pocketing motion like so. At the moment this appears to be OK. Let's go ahead, just drop in the speed of the simulation down a touch, pressing play, and then control and speed up. So we work our way out through that section, we then cut across, now working our way through this section, and then we cut this segment here. The problem becomes apparent when we get to this situation here. So now this piece is already hanging loose. So even though the wire will continue in terms of the toolpath will continue to cut this region, and on the simulation it looks fine, of course on the machine this piece is going to be loose. Let's continue playing. So we get to the end and we get the desired shape, but what we don't want is that piece of loose material. If we were to look at the simulation as a center line, let's just preview this, we can see the shape of the operation. So there's our pocketing process, linking to the next pocket. in the next region and then finally it will join those together. So that's the problem area. So to instigate the new motion I'm just going to cancel this one and just go to the next one. So the new style, if we go to the strategy it's just a simple checkbox that says use the new pocketing technology. If we preview this toolpath what we'll notice is it starts from the centre and works its way out. Once it gets into those regions, you can see here, although it works its way into this pocketed area, it still maintains and keeps this piece joined to the rest of the core. It's only as we work our way out to the edge, it finally removes those small segments. Let's continue playing. So you can see this is continuously reflected throughout the entire process. We now work our way out to the edge where we can join the segments to produce the shape. This can be verified on the 3D simulation. Again, I'm just going to single step just to remove the blades first of all. And then just view the pocketing process. Again, just starting this with an Alt F3. We can see it works its way from the center location using the shape of the island to work the material out. Let's choose play. We can now see it gets into those pocketed areas, but we can see this piece is still connected to the main body. Let's continue playing. It'll get so far through before it removes that segment. Again, repeating all the way around for each of those pocket regions. We'll finally get into the shape to produce the profile we're after. 
That leaves us with our finished component with no pieces of material that have fallen through, potentially causing any unnecessary worry.